and today I'm going to be making low carb cheesy tuna casserole. This is not my recipe, so I won't be giving measurements, but I will leave the link to the recipe in the description box below. We're going to start off by putting the butter in the pan, the onion in the pan, celery, whoops, <laughs> celery, and mushrooms. And yes, I am cheating. The original recipe called for fresh, but I don't have any. I thought I did, but I don't, so I'm using canned. And now I'm gonna saute them until they start to turn a little brown. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper at this point. And you wanna cook it until the onions and celery are soft. So now that the onions, celery, and mushrooms are softened, I'm going to add the chicken stock. Bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, you want to let it go until the liquid is reduced by about half. So the liquid has reduced to about half, and now I'm going to add the cream. At this point, you wanna bring it back to the boil, then turn the heat down and cook it until it's reduced and thickened. You're basically making a cream of mushroom soup. Stir it often and make sure it doesn't boil over. It's reduced and thickened, and now is the time to taste the sauce and see if it needs anything. Now for us, I think this needs a little bit of garlic and more black pepper. Um, and that's it, I think that's enough. I think that would do the trick. Maybe next time I make this, I will just add chopped garlic in with the onion, celery, and mushrooms. So I'm just going to add a sprinkle of granulated garlic, not much, and a little more black pepper, or a lot more. Stir this up. Give it a little taste, much better. I'm going to turn this off. The next step is to take your green beans, mix in your tuna. And the mushroom soup you made. and lots of cheddar cheese. Mix to combine. This probably would have been easier in a bowl. <laughs> Might be easier just to use my hands, except the beans are hot. Next time, pour all of this into a bowl and mix it together. I'm gonna flatten it all out. And pop it in the oven until it's nice and bubbly. Here it is fresh out of the oven, all hot and bubbly. Let me put this on a plate so you can see what it looks like. Here it is, and it looks and smells so good. And it tastes good too. So if you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.